Hey, welcome to the video. Um, so this game cam has been basically sitting um, for several months without me touching it. It had a solar power charger on it, so um, it just continued to run. Um, I went and checked it last week, or actually this week, and I wish that it had kept going because um, I had two hogs force their way into the trap that I have there. It wasn't set. Um, and there was some corn in there from the feeder, so they forced their way in. That was last weekend, and then this weekend I found them dead in the pen. So I feel bad that they were in there suffering, and they were good little piglet, uh, kind of teenagers, I guess. They were probably about 15 pounds apiece, 15, 20 pounds. Um, but they were in there all week, and I feel kind of bad. But you'll see deer going through their various phases. Um, you'll see them come into velvet, uh, which is kind of cool, and you'll see some of the other critters that come to visit. So... Um, appreciate it and uh, like and subscribe and uh, I'll put out some more video um, I try to mix it up a little bit some hunting stuff some fishing stuff so um, I appreciate you visiting the site Yeah, you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, dogs running through the camera. Really kind of pisses me off that the neighbors let their dogs run loose. There's a pack of wild dogs, too, that you saw in the beginning. They're bl all black. Um, I've only spotted them a couple of times, but uh, I know for a fact that they're wild. They're traveling in a big pack, and I saw them pushing some deer through the woods one day. So, uh, I don't, not a whole lot you can do about the wild dogs, but they don't show themselves very often. Um, they're pretty smart. Uh, I think one of the things that you'll see in some of these videos, which is kind of creepy, is you'll see eyes peering through the trees at night, uh, reflecting in the flash from the camera. Uh, some of the hogs they're so weary when they come out to the stand they'll just uh, peer through the trees to see if it's safe to come out and I've got a, um, a hunting stand that's just about 50 yards from this feeder and uh, they're always looking up towards that stand to see if I'm sitting up there and uh, raccoons do it too you'll see the raccoon eyes there was just a set a minute ago uh, they're definitely aware of the fact that I hunt from this stand, but, you know, they come out anyway. So this video is taken from my land. It's out in uh, East Texas, right near Lake Tewakini. Um, probably about, I don't know, maybe 500 to 1,000 yards from Lake Tewakini. There's another property between me and it. Um, so the deer there aren't really big, uh, you know, a big buck, you know, it'll, it'll probably run 120, 130 pounds, um, maybe a little bit heavier, but, uh, most of these does that you're seeing are pretty scrawny. Um, I, I'm really kind of surprised when I see them sometimes how skinny they are. Uh, but you know what, they, they're, there's plenty of them, um, and you'll start seeing some bucks here in a little bit. Uh, at this point, it's still, let's see, it's towards the end of April. Um, so they haven't lost their antlers for too long. They're typically out here, their antlers drop in uh, late.
So there was a period of time when I didn't have any corn in the feeder at all, and I refilled it, I believe, in May. So you can see that there's definitely an uptick in uh, movement out of the stand. Um, there's a hog that shows up in the video, and I just spot-checked it. I'm actually watching it for the first time as I'm recording the audio to go with it. Um, there's a big hog that comes in that its back is... Uh, pretty much even or a little bit over the entrance to the door, the top of the door. That trap comes up about mid chest on me and I'm six feet tall. So that door is probably at my hip or a little bit higher. So that's a big hog. Um, I don't know if he's showed up yet. We've seen a couple of hogs show up, but I don't think that big one has showed up in the video yet. So uh, keep your eyes open because he's a really good sized one. Yeah, starting to see a lot of trash pandas showing up here in this in these shots. Um, they were gone for a long time. I didn't see many of them at all.
So we're a couple minutes to the end of the video, and I'd like to remind you guys to please subscribe and like the video. It helps me out a lot. Uh, just got monetized on the channel, and it would be great if I could earn a few bucks off the videos that I put out. Um, don't get paid very much for them, but every little bit helps. So thank you, and I appreciate it in advance. And, uh, the Big Hogs looks like they came through a little bit ago. Uh, they're, they're pretty good size, so hopefully they show back up again sometime soon here.
All right, we're at the very end of the recording, so thanks again for watching, and I'll be putting out some more content here pretty soon. Uh, boat's in the shop again, so we'll get some more fishing out shortly.